Master Zale, the Count awaits you. Have you come to a decision? Soon you will become a knight, and if you perform well, then I would consider letting you marry Callista. That doesn't sound so bad, does it? You've made the right choice, good boy. Now my mind is at ease. Callista is sure to be happy as well. Excellent. I hereby grant you this sword, treasured within the Argonan family. Things will get a lot busier around here. I'm expecting great things from you. I have gathered you all here for a very important announcement. This horrific assault has taught us one thing, that the threat of the Garak has by no means been consigned to history. Fortunately, the crisis was averted. But the Gorak may be planning to strike again. You must realize I will not sit back and simply wait for this to happen. And so I declare today, we shall take the fight to the Gorak continent. For at last, we have the power to make this a reality. A man with the mark of the Outsider has appeared, and he will awaken an ancient power hidden deep in the island. Gentlemen, I give you Zael, our savior. He will allow us to achieve our greatest ambition, to destroy the Gorak and bring peace to the Empire. These two fine men, Zael and Dagron, have already dealt the Gorak a significant blow by heroically assaulting their frontline base. Therefore, today I officially name these two knights in training and retainers of my court. Grant them your full support. Callista, please, you have to understand. I'm sorry. I don't think we should see each other anymore. And so Zael and Dagron became knights in training and official retainers of the court. Their dream was finally within their grasp. It seemed that their days of fighting for survival might soon come to an end. The wheels were in motion. Yet Zael still harbored some doubt. Well then, here's to Zael and Dagron, the new knights in training. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> Can't believe it's finally happened. You're on the road to becoming knights. I'm proud like you wouldn't believe. What are you proud of? You didn't do anything. You're joking. Without me fighting by their side, they'd never have made it this far. Can we not enjoy a friendly drink today? Without all the usual bickering. So, I guess it's all at war with the Garak then. Looks like we'll all get a chance to show our stuff. Exactly. Zael and I may have been picked first. But you've all been made official retainers in Count Argonan's court. The dream is for all of us to be knights. I won't stop working towards that. I can just see the look on Sir Hoity Toity's face when he finds out we're knights. Zael, what's wrong? This is supposed to be good news. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Are you feeling disheartened because you weren't able to see Lady Callista? Don't be down in the dumps. Women change their mind from one second to the next. Indeed. Never has a truer word been spoken. Uh, what 
are you saying about me? Ah, that really <laughs> hot. Oh. <sighs> now I'm all hot and bothered. Guess it's time for what you've all been waiting for. <laughs> what? What have they been waiting for? Didn't I say I'd make you a knight one day? <laughs> it's funny seeing you drunk. We're gonna be happy from now on. You hear me? We're gonna make it! Dagrun, I wish it was that simple. Rare to see our pal Dagrun so wasted. I guess I'll be his shoulder to cry on later. Ah, oh, it's good to move up in the world. But I'm already sick to death of all this formal manners stuff. At least I can still come here and relax. Maybe it's not so bad. You still seem to be in low spirits, Zale. But Dagrin has worked very hard to get you this far. This is a time to eat and drink. And eat and eat and eat and be merry. I've eaten tons and tons, and it's all thanks to you, Zale. I bet if I eat enough, I'll grow up and be big and strong like you. Dagrin's always carrying a sword he never uses. What's up with that? Oh, it's something me and Dagrin bought when we first set up our band of mercenaries. That sword's like the first step on the road to our dream. Fair enough, but how come he never uses it? We were pretty young when we bought it. At the time, we didn't realise it's actually just a ceremonial sword. But Dagrin calls it our treasure. And always keeps it in good nick. You two really are close. Why is that guy who want to find a master of archery anyway? Weird sort of thing to be looking for, if you ask me. Zale, come here and chat for a bit. It'll be great. Ah, oh, come on. Hurry up and get over here. We've got partying to do. Zale, come here and chat for a bit. It'll be great. Careful, Zale. You won't escape till morning. Although... Sometimes you just got to go with the flow. What have you got to lose? Zale, it'll be great. Careful, Zale. You won't escape. The mercenary celebration carried on until dawn. And the next morning. Why is that guy you want to find a man?
Master Zale, the Count summons you and your companions. Dagron, when did you get here? Not long before you did. The Count and I were just discussing matters. Today, we will set forth for the Garak continent. Huh? Today? My lord, isn't that a bit too soon? Surely the fleet needs time to prepare. <laughs> I can certainly understand your doubts. Dagron, tell him. There's a legend on this island, of a fortress that crosses the seas. What? What does that even mean? It's just what it sounds like. A fortress you can steer like a ship. Once upon a time, it charged across the sea and drove the Garak from the Empire. So the story goes, anyway. The founder of the House of Arganon left writings about it. But no one alive today has seen it for themselves, and no other evidence remains. According to those writings, however, a man with the mark of the Outsider will have the ability to reawaken the fortress. Aha! Uh -huh. So the one who can bring back this legendary fortress is our very own Zale. Exactly. And we're going to turn that legend into a reality. We're going to a place under the castle called the Realm of Ascendancy. And what's that when it's at war? It's a sealed area. One that will open only for the man who bears the mark of the Outsider. When he gets there, Zale will need to reach out to the island itself, in order to uncover the fortress of legend. Of course, there's some kind of trial we have to pass before we can get there. Oh yeah? What kind of trial are we talking about? It's best if we see it for ourselves. That's all the Count said. If he doesn't know, why doesn't he just admit it? Seren. <clears throat> it is time for you to prove your loyalty. A knight lives to defend the people. How shameful that this is forgotten. Now, true knights are few and far between. Something must be done. And Master Zale, please use the secret stairs to enter the castle depths. Here is the device to activate them. The Count is waiting in the castle depths. They're here. Where are the others? Sorry to keep you waiting. All present and correct. The 
realm of ascendancy lies at the end of a passage guarded by dark spirits. These spirits will only reveal themselves to one with the outsider's power. Without it, they cannot even be seen. Zael, you must use your power to overcome them. So that's the trial. Naturally, I do not doubt you will succeed in reaching the realm of ascendancy. However, you must leave a number of your companions here with me. Not that I expect you to betray me, but you understand. Never hurts to be careful, huh? I'll go with Zael. The rest of you wait here. Uh, may I join too? Moronia? Makes sense, doesn't it? The two of you can't heal on your own. She'll help out loads. I guess you're right. Fine. 